There we go. So this is our pizza menu that we're building out, and we've been setting tabs to align all the text that we need to, uh, to work in. I'm going to work on this very bottom part, just kind of going over these uh, the little dots. Do you remember what the dots are called when you place them in front of a tab? Hmm? Leader, leading, yes, they're called leaders. So these are the dot leaders that you would create once you open your tabs menu. And you can see we've also set them down here as well. So let's see, I'm not going to uh, just recreate a thing. I'm going to drag it off to the side. I'm going to ungroup that. Y'all bear with me. Remember, the top of each of these, of each section is going to be exactly the same. So there's no need to rebuild it. You can just make a copy of it and drag it down, rechange the color, or change the color up of it up, and also uh, retype the uh, the heading, and you're good. You're good to go and set for that one. Let's grab our text box. I'm going to click and drag. Now we can start flowing in text that we want to uh, work for. Remember when you follow along up here, um, you can see what size of the fonts we're going to be working in and also what font we're going to type in. I'm going to, I am going to jump down and just start typing in this bottom portion here <clears throat> because this is really what I want to emphasize is how to set the leading, the leaders and also how to set the type that we're working in. So you can also set this up at the top but I'm going to show you how to set the leaders down at the bottom since we've already kind of covered how to do that. So let's type in the first one, mushrooms. I want to hit tab because I need to set a tab here. And they're $6.99. Hit tab one more time. For a large plate, it's $8.99. Hit tab again. And for the medium, it's going to be $9.50. All right, for this one, I'm going to set just one line first. And remember to affect to this, you need to select this. You got to select it to affect it. So I've got my uh, type selected. Let's go ahead and load up the font we're going to be working in. In our case, it's going to be Optima. So at the very top right hand side, type in there's Optima. And let's see, it's going to be italic. No, no, that, that area is not going to be italic, but it is going to be. 10 point in size. So let's change up our point size, bring it down just a bit. Remember to open up the tabs dialog box. This is uh, really important to set it. We're going to go up to type and then choose tabs. What's the keyboard shortcut to open up tabs? Oop, say it louder. Command T. Ah, not just Command T. That little arrow right there is the uh, keyboard shortcut for shift. So if you hit Shift Command T, that'll also bring up your tabs as well. I'm glad you noticed the uh, the Command T going up there. <clears throat> so let's set up our tabs that I've typed in. The first tab it's going to be a uh, ah it's going to be a decimal tab. A decimal tab is going to be slightly different than the other tabs we've been working with. Before it's either been a left align or it's a center tab or a right align tab. A decimal tab will allow, allow you to line up any information that has a decimal point on it. And you can see our uh, prices that we have all have some sort of decimal point uh, allowed to it. And the last one on the right side is the align to decimal point. So I'm going to select it. Let's type in the position that it should be. The first one is going to be 1.5 inches. I'm going to hit return. And you can see it snaps to that point right there. I also need to add a leader to it. So since I have it selected, I'm going to type in a period in our leader point, hit return. So now I've got my leader running from mushrooms to the price. Let's do another one for the next one. Next one should be decimal point two and who looks like three eighths. So 2.375, hit return. Uh oh. Ah. See how it jumped over? I still had that last decimal, my last uh, decimal alignment selected. So let's try that again. Move that back to one and a half. I can click anywhere on here and redo it again. So 2.3. Uh, three seven five. Perfect, right there. Still got it selected. So let's add a leader. I typed it in. 
Let's do that last one. I'm going to click on my point. Got it selected. This time, let's highlight that and select and type it in. 3.25. Hit return. Ah, it's jumped over. I'll tell you why I did that. But I'm going to add my leader first and hit return. Now, the reason why my um, my price jumped down to the very bottom edge is because when I made my text box, it wasn't big enough. There's not enough room to add my price at the very end of it. So to, to change that up, real, real simple. I'm going to grab my selection tool. And remember, you can click on any of these points and drag them over. And once I got my box just big enough, you can see everything fits well within there. Before I move on, do you all have any questions? Real easy breezy. Here's the greatest thing. Since I've already set my tabs for this one line, all I've got to do is hit return, start typing my next line. So this one's breaded eggplant. I'm going to hit tab now. Ah, automatically sets my lead letters, leaders. I'm not going to be able to say that word. 9.99, 10.5, 0. And I hit return. Notice that even though this one only has three numbers and this one has four numbers, it's still aligned to that point here. So if I was to go to the next line, let's say I'm going to uh, meatballs. Hit return. If I typed in, say, meatballs for a large plate or a small plate were $100 point whatever else I place on there. No matter how many numbers I place, it's always going to align it along that one point decimal point that I've typed in. Let's quickly do this. So 5.99 tab. Now that's a bargain right there. Meatball, pasta, a small plate's the same size, same price as a large plate. Or six dollars for that one. Does that make sense? Once you've got all of the, everything typed out, then I would suggest going back, highlighting your text, and of course we need to change up the color that we're working in. Remember to change the color, it's at the very top center, and you can click down and that one's going to be red that we created. And then you would highlight the name of each of the uh, plate specials and change it to the green that we created as well. You would have to do this for each line, so it's a little tedious, but once you got it done, it's all good working from there. That one should have been green. Green, highlight it red, and highlight it red. Great. I won't make y'all watch me do the entire thing because I know y'all can do it for yourself. Same thing down for the very bottom portion of this, um, what we're working through. You're going to type out your text. This first one, you're going to create a decimal point letting. You're going to hit tab again, type out your text, create a leader, and there's a decimal alignment for that one as well. Remember to follow along the instructions in your book and everything should work itself out quite well. Any questions before I move on? Do you all feel confident with it? Remember, if you do, you can always ask me. Last thing I want to show you is how to save your document as a PDF. I'm going to move this back over. Oops, shouldn't have got rid of that. So once you've got everything created, it's all lined up, it's all looking good, that's the way it should be. To save a document as a PDF, first of all, we're going to go to File. Make sure you save your regular document. But a PDF, you can go to Adobe PDF Presets. And some of the presets you can work with allow you to save different sized files. So since we're uploading it, we don't want it to be a huge file. So I want you to choose the smallest file size. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to follow my own instructions. I'm going to ask you to do the high quality print. If you were to send this to a real printer, they would need it to be the highest quality, the highest resolution possible to get the best print uh, print production back from it. Press quality also is good for sending it off to a printer, but it starts to add different things like your, your press setup, crop marks, alignment marks, really more than we need it to, uh, to work with. 
The reason I was thinking for smallest file size because you're going to upload this to Moodle. Let's choose high quality. It's going to ask you to give your PDF a name. And I'm going to save it to the desktop. Pizza menu will work fine. We'll hit save. It's going to ask you for some more options. We're not going to get into any of the other options, but you can save different page ranges, different types of compression. I'll just hit export. And now we can close it out from there. I'll, hit, I'll resave it again. I'm going to hit Command 3. That pushes all of my windows out of the way. Here's my pizza menu PDF that we created. I do want to make you aware of one thing. Let's see if it happened on this one. On my computer, it gave me one small error. Hey, it worked well. Down here at the bottom, sometimes it'll create a PDF and this um, won't align just right. Actually, let's see. I think the pizza menu that I gave y'all as, as an example may have had that problem. Let me scroll down and see. Ah, there it is. If this happens to yours, give me a call and I'll show you how you can fix it, uh, fix it up. Really, we just need to adjust one of the alignments of one of your tabs and that'll, uh, that'll change up everything. So if this happens, don't worry, that's normal. It's just one of those things Mr. Ivy didn't catch before he saved your, your project as well. Before I move on, any questions? Awesome. Okay, I'm going to turn your computers back over to you, let you finish up.